Well, most places have managed to stay dry throughout the course of the day today. Just scatter cloud cover for most spots. You can see the mixed cloud cover from Atmore. So those higher thin clouds and some lower clouds, all that low level moisture parked over the area. Very mild temperatures there and as well in Pensacola Unity Fiber Camera, it's 66 degrees. Some warm temperatures across the region in the upper 60s and low 70s. 71 in Molino, 68 in Jackson, 59 Dolphin Island, 67 in Leakesville and 68 degrees over in Destin, Florida. The next five hours will keep in the chance for some showers, mainly at the coastline with temperatures dropping again to around 60 degrees, so staying mild once again overnight tonight, upper 50s and low 60s for our overnight lows. Still staying above average, but again, we'll have some changes by the end of the weekend that I'll talk to you about. But tomorrow, still gonna have a chance for showers and storms, a 70% chance you need the green and Phillips umbrella. Let's bring it down on the, the News 5 predictor. Our high rise predictor shows I mean, you get a couple of showers of the coastline throughout the course of the night, but for the most part, most places will stay dry. Then by the time we hit around midnight tonight, you'll notice this line of showers and storms way off to the west. It's broken for the time being, but really starts to develop into the morning hours. This is 330 AM moving through central Louisiana, western Mississippi and continuing to march east. Some stronger storms possible as this line continues to progress east, entering the News 5 viewing area around 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, entering the heart of the News 5 viewing area by around 9, 10 o'clock, then entering northwest Florida and starting to exit by the time we hit really after lunchtime. Around 2 o'clock is when we'll see those storms start to exit the News 5 area, but still a couple of showers lingering with scattered clouds for the back half of the day Saturday before drier and cooler air moves in to close out the weekend. But Again, some strong to severe storms will be possible. Level one out of five risk for our Mississippi counties and our northwestern communities as well. In the western part of, the, of uh, Mobile County. But the rest of the News 5 viewing area is under a level two out of five risk. The main threats being damaging wind gusts, 50 to 60 miles per hour. Could have some isolated spots that have higher wind gusts. A brief tornado and, of course, heavy downpour is always likely with these storms. Here's one more look at that timing. Starting around 7 a.m., entering our Mississippi counties. Around Central Mobile County starting around 8 a.m. and pushing through Northwest Florida by around 10 a.m. and is finally exiting the area by the afternoon, early afternoon. And this might affect your plans slightly for the Mardi Gras parades. By 6.30, I think everything will have moved out. But by 2 p.m., we could have some lingering showers possible. Again, a few storms still exiting northwest Florida. I think things will start to be drying out by the time we hit the afternoon and into the back half of the day Saturday. But some lingering clouds and a couple of brief showers can't be ruled out. So, big chance for rain on Saturday. But after that system moves out, look at this. Goose egg all the way through Friday expecting any rain and temperatures cooling off as well. Look at this into Sunday lows dropping to the 40s, then 30s for our lows on Monday and Tuesday, and that cooler trend will stick around. Weather aware for Saturday for the chance for those strong to severe storms, but after the system passes, cooler and drier air settles into the area. A lot of sunshine to start next week.